Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. This video is going to be about population genetics and as usual I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here is the problem. Assume that the frequency of the PKU, a recessive genetic disorder, in your state is 1 in 2500. And here is the first question, question A. What proportion of the population carriers or heterozygous for the PKU allele? And uh, in order to solve this problem, everything we have to know is uh, Hardy-Weinberg formula. So uh, frequency of the three genotypes that can be made by two alleles would equal to P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared. And all this combined would equal to 1. So we do all the calculations on the scale between 0 and 1. And if we need an answer on the scale between 0 and 100%, we just need to multiply all the numbers by 100. So, um, as you see, maximum, what we can get here is 1. So if we need an answer in percentage form, we just have to multiply our answer by 100. So what is the P squared stands for? And this stands for the uh, homozygous dominant condition. 2PQ stands for the heterozygous condition. And Q squared stands for the homozygous recessive condition. So as you see, we have only alleles uh, P and Q. So all the alleles P plus all the alleles Q would equal to 1. And allele P stands for the dominant allele A and Q stands for the recessive allele A. So, as you see, these two alleles can make uh, three different genotypes. So, uh, our question, uh, we need to find uh, how many of the people in this uh, community uh, would be heterozygous or would be carriers. We know that uh, uh, people who uh, express this genetic disorder phenotypically uh, can be found in the frequency 1 in 2500 people. So we have to divide uh, 1 by 2500 and we would be able to find um, decimal number of this frequency of this uh, condition. So this is going to be 0 0.0004. So this is going to be frequency of the homozygous recessive condition. So I would put this frequency here, 0 0.0004. And now, in order to find a uh, number of the people who is heterozygous, we need to know Q and P. Right now we know Q squared. So how to find Q? We just have to take square root from Q squared or from this number. So Q would equal to square root of 0 0.0004. So this is going to be 0 0.02. Now when we know the uh, Q, this is 0 0.02, we can easily find frequency of the allele P and uh, as you see P plus Q should equal to 1. So we know that uh, P would be 0 0.98. Now when we know the frequency of the both allele P and allele Q, we can use this part of the formula in order to find the frequency of the people who is going to be carriers or who is going to be heterozygous. So let me rewrite this part of the formula here to P Q would equal, and once again this is heterozygous, people who is carriers would equal to 2 multiplied by number P, and this is 0 0.98, and multiplied by the number Q, that is 0 0.02. 
and our answer would be 0 0.0392. Let me write this frequency here. So 0 0.0392. So this is going to be our answer for the question A. And now we can move to the question B. What is the chance that two individuals with no family history of PKU are both carriers? And this is easiest part in our calculations. So what is the probability that uh, one person with no history of uh, uh, occurrence this genetic disorder in his family would be carrier? And we have found this number, it is here. So the probability that the first person would be a carrier would be 0 0.0392. And what is the probability that the second person also would be a carrier? And the probability exactly the same. So 0 0.0392. So because this is two independent probabilities, we just have to use the rule of multiplication for these two uh, probabilities to happen together. And our final answer would be 0 0.0015. And now this is answer for the second question. But now I also want to show you uh, how uh, using this information we can uh, come back to this probability of uh, a person to be uh, affected with this genetic disorder. So if we have a couple, so this is going to be, for example, a female and this is going to be a male. So uh, this is their probability to meet together to be both carriers, so to be heterozygous, capital A, small a, and probability to meet together, and uh, the probability to have an affected child would be as follows, so one would be heterozygous, another one also would be heterozygous, and when we build a Punnett square, you would see that here we would have capital A, capital A, capital A, small a, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. So 3 out of 4 would be phenotypically normal, and 1 out of 4 would be affected. So we have to multiply this number by 1 quarter, or 0 0.25, in order to find the probability to have affected child. And the answer would be here that the probability is 0 0.00384. And as you see, this is number that we got here. So this is very close number to this one. So this number is about uh, 1 in 2500. So we come back with, to a situation when we find the probability of the two people to be heterozygous for this trait, and this is probability, and uh, here is the probability that they would have uh, a child who is going to be affected, and we come back to the uh, our uh, data that we were given, that one person in 2,500 people affected with this genetic disorder and whose genotype is small a, small a, so would be uh, homozygous recessive. So this um, genotype and phenotype here. And this, is, this number is very close to this one. And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.